Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very very quick video here. Uh, Gits for Ghost uh, 123 on YouTube really did he used to ask me uh, Mac versus PC. Yeah, that, I know it's 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 a very very hard topic to talk about, but now when I have my hands on both operating systems, first I have my uh, my my computer out there, my my desktop computer which I bought last year, Core i7 16 GB RAM, GTX 590 that's like like the really really high end specs. Um, uh, and uh, so you have a high-end PC running Windows 7. I also now have this MacBook Pro, uh, my first Mac computer basically running Mac OS 10.7 line. Um, my first, as I said, my first Mac experience. Uh, this was a very, very expensive computer for me. Uh, even more expensive than the computer that I, I bought uh, last year, my desktop computer that I have outside. Uh, this one's also running on really, really high-end specs for MacBook Pro, 2.5 GHz Core i7, quad-core, 80 GB of RAM, a 750 GB hard drive. I could have swapped that for an SSD, but um, going with the hard drive for now. Um, what else? I mean, it has uh, Intel HD graphics, um, 512 MB of RAM and everything. Um, has some quality specs, but it did cost me a ton of cash. So, which one, Mac versus PC? Um, now, when I get my hands on the Mac OS, I, I, I gotta say, I mean, even though this is an expensive computer, I love the Mac operating system uh, for some things, and for some things, I do like the freedom of Windows a lot more. Um, but I mean, the favorite thing I love about my new Mac, the, the first few things that I've been seeing here for the last couple of days is that if you do a lot of video editing, stuff like that, this is going to be an amazing device for that, okay? I'm not going to say anything about that, but that is so amazing. And that, that's why, that, that was the main reason why I bought this device, my Mac Pro. Uh, even and I didn't even have a laptop before that. Uh, I had a school laptop, an HD computer um, that I was using a lot, uh, but not for video editing or things like that. Um, I, I, I get kind of scared when I think of video editing uh, on a Windows machine. Um, even with my Windows machine that I have outside there, um, because I mean, Mac is is more optimized for for video. Uh, for video editing, basically. I mean, it's not a secret <laughs> that I mean, film studios even use like Final Cut Pro, and that's just because not, not just because they want to be cool and all and all use Mac, it's because it just works, okay? Um, I've been running tons of different formats and stuff like that. I mean, I have, in my Panasonic uh, SD700 records in a weird ass format like .mts. Um, if you if you just throw that into Windows, um, use it with a video editing program. First of all, it's it's kind of hard to if you just like in Windows to get out that quality you, you, that you that you let's say you put in a few videos and then you want to render it. Uh, what what should you render it in? You know, you, you always have to ask these kinds of questions. On Mac, you is you know you make the video. Uh, .mts and .mov, you can just mix them up very, very easily, it feels like, um, and then you just render using like two clicks, and it just works. It starts to render everything, and I haven't had a single issue with video rendering problems or something like that, even though I only made a few, I have made a few videos uh, where I recorded with the Panasonic SD700, I also swapped out the audio, but it was all very, very simple to do. And I mean, I'm gonna be fair here. I mean, I haven't tried a, a expensive, a, a expensive laptop running Windows Seven. I've only tried this Mac OS machine, but it just feels like with the Mac App Store and everything that you use two clicks away, uh, you start downloading Final Cut Pro, uh, like very, very awesome video apps. And then you start working immediately. I mean, that's something that you don't get on Windows. I mean, let's just be honest here. I mean, that that's that's not something that you're gonna get on Windows. Um, 
that's my favorite feature. I mean, I, I want to do most of my videos, my like 99% of my editing or my videos and everything, I want to do them on a Mac. I do a lot of video stuff and it, it just works when you render in .mov. And I mean, we do even know that Steve Jobs, um, that, you know, was one of the founder and, you know, like the key guy behind Apple, he also uh, created Pixar, which is this like uh, animation company that made a ton of so awesome animated movies. And I mean, of course, they've been running all of that like shit on Macs. So, I mean, it's Mac OS is so much optimized for video editing and stuff like that. It's just so amazing for that. And also, if you do like audio and stuff like that, I mean, of, of course, that, that's uh, I think a little bit easier to do on Windows, but it just it, it, it's it's a great machine, okay? It's 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 a great operating system. It's a great machine, uh, and then also, I mean, of course, you gotta pay, okay? If you pay, you get an awesome experience, and I, I really had an awesome experience with my Mac machine just just a few days, and I mean, I've been, I mean, it takes some time to get used to Mac OS and like how it works. It, it's a little bit different Windows management and everything compared to Windows. Um, and, and that right click thingy uh, could take some time to get used to that uh, they have it a little, little bit different there instead of using control you use the command key and everything like that but it, it, it is amazing how video ed editing is simple you, you just fire up your editing program you can just hover over and it will live play the video and everything and you can hear immediately and cut out things it's amazing, okay? I, I gotta say, <laughs> Mac OS is amazing, okay? Especially if you've been running Windows for a long as time. Um, and I'm not saying I'm hating on Windows right now, but uh, there's some things I freaking love with Windows 7, okay? Also, uh, I mean, there's some weird things in, in the Mac OS that uh, you can't like right click. Um, on, on your desktop and create like a new file. Uh, you can only create like a new folder. Same in the Finder. Uh, when you when you put it up, basically, um, you you can't like create a, a new file. You can only create a new folder. There, there's some weird things like that. Uh, and also uh, something that doesn't come default in macOS is that you can't. This awesome Windows Seven feature that I love so much. Um, that I got basically with uh, a little app called Cinch. I got that in my, my favorite Windows 7 feature. I got it now in Mac OS. Uh, you can do it with the Cinch basically, and that is the snap feature. Like if you, if you move the window up to the top, it will go full screen. If you move it on to the side, it will go like that. That's my favorite feature with Windows 7. Um, also, one thing that I may have some small complaints about Mac OS is that Flash. You really hate Flash, okay? I mean, I've been playing a few videos, but I can really hear sometimes that the fans are really going up because they would Flash, it sucks on Mac OS. And don't ask me why, uh, but either it's Adobe that hasn't been doing that much of a good job there with Flash for Mac, but it really do suck, okay? And that's something that I do love with my Windows uh, 7 machine. I mean, it just runs Flash awesome. And... Um, I love the more like uh, I love I love the o o more open environment I get with my main Windows Seven machine that it just feels a little bit more open. Um, everything that I'm doing, the file system and everything, it feels like some things in Mac OS uh, they are hiding it used to make it a little bit more clean and cool, and that's something that I do a lot with my Mac machine that it it looks gorgeous. You know, it looks it has an amazing build quality. The operating system feels very, very clean and everything, and I can really understand why why you would be a fan of uh, Apple, you know, re like a real Apple fanboy. Because after after you've been getting your hands on on this MacBook Pro that I'm using right now, it sure is an awesome device. It sure is an amazing experience, and I just love these features um, when you can like swipe like this. You have different windows and everything. Um, you can do it like this, you can arrange your desktops, uh, you can basically do a ton of different weird shit that uh, I haven't got used to right now. Installing programs is also amazing, you just like two, two clicks and then you have installed the program. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, 
it's just amazing, you know, um, for videos. You also get inspired by by this like build quality of the of the of the operating system, how beautiful it feels and looks like. You get extremely inspired to create some awesome stuff. Um, I've also used the Word and Google Chrome. Google Chrome is also where if you didn't know already for Mac OS. Um, I'm not really sure how mid and low end Mac OS uh, smartphones, no, not smartphones, but computers are to use and work with. But, uh, and then, then I mean, then there's some awesome things here with, uh, with the Mac because that you, you get some included things. Like right now, I'm just using the webcam, the FaceTime webcam. In the in the in the Mac computer and using the webcam webcam audio as well because I think it sounds pretty decent. I mean it's not perfect, but it, it sure do works. Uh, use some small things like that that I that that I, that I really do appreciate uh, with my Mac machine. Um, and I mean we'll see if I, if I'm gonna make a full switch. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make a full switch right now at least because um, I, I still love my you know Windows Seven machine and everything. Uh, and that's just my main uh, my main desktop at the moment, but um, I may make a switch in the future. I have no idea if, if I fall in love even more with Mac, um, I, I may do it. But uh, it, it is it is surely a, an amazing experience. Uh, even though I, I still love my, my you know if we talk about smartphones, I still love Android way more than I do on I and than iOS. Uh, but Mac versus Windows 7, uh, it, it's it's definitely an interesting question, especially when you are like me, you do a lot of videos and shit like that. Uh, you really just want something that works, okay? I've been using tons of Sony Vegas on my Windows 7 computer, and I mean, you can really feel that it's, it's not as optimized as uh, these video editing programs you get on Mac. And, um, I mean, that's just because Apple can control the experience, okay? And when they can control the experience and make things really do work, then they could uh, put out a price that's a little higher than everyone else can put out because they know they have an awesome product. Steve Jobs was so uh, obsessed, like he was so like crazy. He's wanted an awesome product. It, it was gonna be awesome. If it was, if it wasn't gonna be awesome, then you know we can't, we can't ship this out. He really wanted to create an awesome product. And I mean, people are sen sensitive about the pricing. I mean, just just because something has a higher price tag, usually people's gonna hate that just because. Um, you know, it's out of their like price range, you know. Uh, but I mean, if if you really can try out the Mac experience, you should really do so. If you do video editing stuff like that, it is so easy on a Mac. Um, uh, I mean, like I downloaded the app ScreenFlow. I used to record a screen. It was also I used a Mac app. You just download it. It did cost me some cash though, but I felt like it feels like these apps um, in like the Mac App Store uh, has such a high quality that they are definitely worth it. Um, so I mean, I downloaded that app and instantly I could start to record videos like this. Rendering works perfect. I, I could use my FaceTime HD camera and everything. and. The FaceTime web webcam is actually, I mean, it's actually some pretty good quality, you know, and uh, it just works. What, what else can I say about Mac OS? Um, I mean, Flash sucks, but we already do know that. Um, it takes some time, really. I mean, the, the Mac experience is a little bit different compared to Windows. Like, uh, you have this dock and you can't really see uh, instantly what kind of apps you have open up and which ones you don't they maybe should re rearrange that when you're using apps so you can instantly see exactly all of the apps now now it's a little bit clutter with the apps that uh, isn't running at the same time um, but uh, I know in this video I've been mainly focusing about uh, Mac but that's just because uh, Mac is my new experience you know right now I mean I've been I've been putting down a lot of money to this computer so of course I need really to fully review it and see what I like about it and what I don't like about it and everything. And um, I, I love to be running right now on a system that just works. I mean, it gets the job freaking done. 
And um, if I'm going to get really horny in this device, you know, if, if, if I start to love Mac OS even more, then I'm definitely going to go ahead and, and buy myself an iMac, you know, um, and maybe switch, make a full goddamn switch. Yes, because I'm focusing a lot there um, on, on, on video editing, okay? Um, but as I said, I mean, I, I love the, the freedom and also we shouldn't forget if you do a lot of gaming and stuff like that, I, I, re I really shouldn't go for a Mac, you know? Um, I mean, you got those Mac app stores and things like that, but I, I don't even want to play Minecraft on this device because it feels like the fans and everything would just start to spin like crazy. If you are into gaming, I mean, please continue to use Windows 7. I mean, goddamn. Um, if you do video editing and stuff like that, if if you really want to get serious into music and stuff, or I mean, like yeah, music, um, you should you should probably check out an app. Even though I don't, I don't do music and stuff like that, but I mean, I, I from from the video editing experience I had with this device, um, it, it really feels like uh, the 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 if you do music and stuff like that, uh, produce your own stuff, uh, the, the, the Mac must be uh, an amazing experience. Uh, but I mean, it all comes down to cash in the end. I mean, you gotta have the cash to fork out and uh, it's kind of hard to start out there. Um, but this is an amazing machine, okay, for a lot of things. Um, it takes some time to get used to. Um, Mac versus PC, what should I say? It's it's a good question. It's it's a, it's a very very good question. But um, what can I say? Video editing, I will go fully Mac. Um, gaming, Windows Seven. Um, I didn't actually think this video would be as hard to do as it is right now, but. I actually don't know what I should say to you, but I mean, I've been using Windows for like 10 plus years. Um, I only been using Mac for a few days, so um, I, th I think I need to continue to uh, uh, see what I like and don't like, but uh, as some people have said, once you go Mac, you, you never go back. Um, and that, that may actually be the truth. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I have to do more. Um, uh, I, I need to get more familiar to the Mac experience. Uh, yeah, uh, I really don't know what, what more I could I could tell you. Uh, but you need to before you bash on me or anything like that. I mean, you have to try out both worlds. Okay. You really do have to try both worlds, and uh, don't say something obvious. I mean, of course, Waller do know that uh, gaming is so much better on on a Windows um, machine, you know. Uh, but I mean, video editing must be like ten times better um, on on a, on a Mac machine. Even though I mean, I haven't been uh, uh, been giving you know after Adobe After Effects uh, that much uh, time. In, in Windows 7, I haven't actually been using it that much, but I mean, okay, sure, that that that, that program is available, and there are a few other programs that's also available, uh, but the thing is with the Mac App Store and everything, it just feels like there's so many video editing apps that is so hardcore optimized for the Mac, um, and I, I just love it, I, I feel secure, I feel safe with this Mac machine, and uh, if I can get my hands on a, a, a pretty insane Windows 7 laptop and uh, and see what I like the most and um, and see like how video video editing stuff like that would be on that device versus my Mac uh, device, then um, I'm I'm gonna definitely make a video about it. But I'm sure if I can get my hands on a very expensive. Um, and a, a very very expensive Windows 7 laptop, but that would be kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm sure. What what can I tell you? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. Mac versus PC. I'm so new to Mac. Okay, so we just have to see. Um, but uh, yeah, you probably disappointed here, but I'm not sure what I should tell you. 
Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.